The freaks come out at night. Well, here I am, y'all. We love doing flashlight videos here. Get out of here, moth. But we normally do weapons-mounted lights. We don't really do a lot with handheld lights. So what we thought we would do is a little flashlight obstacle course. We're out here playing with the E9R G4 from PowerTac, and this is a lithium-ion rechargeable, everyday duty slash EDC type of light with a bunch of different output modes. You got a strobe mode, stripe bezel, a clip that can be flipped around a couple of different directions. Really cool setup and very affordable. So we thought that we'd put this through a series of tests. Well, I want to do some shooting with this light as well, but the problem, all my ammo is gone. John has hidden all of my ammunition from me. So I've got to go on this wild goose chase that he's prepared for me here. And we've got to use this light to find our ammo so we can shoot this uh, pistol. We are also going to test the throw. This thing has about a 200 meter throw, uh, so it can definitely get out there a pretty long way. We are going to show that off. So I guess I need to go have a look and see if I can figure out where my freaking magazines are. This is freaking embarrassing. All right, I'm going to start going uh, down the trail here. Uh, it is pitch black out here. Right now I've got the highest output uh, on on the flashlight. This is 2550 lumens, so it's ridiculously high output. Uh, there's a button on the side of the flashlight now. I know it's dark. You're going to have to bear with me. I can go through the different modes. If I press the button on the side of the flashlight, uh, it goes down to a extremely reduced output. It's like not even one lumen, and that's the first mode. It's like, a, you know, if you're trying to unlock your door or look for your keys or something like that. You're not blowing your eyeballs out in the dark. Uh, the second mode puts it up, I believe it's like 71 or 72 lumens, so uh, that definitely steps it up a notch. And then your mode 3, of course, gets it up even higher. And then your gangbuster mode there, you've got a few different brightness settings. You can see those right there. I'll just scroll through them here real quick. We are going to be utilizing the different brightness uh, settings. So I guess there'd be five of them. Um, now, when the unit is disengaged, let's go ahead and put it back on the uh, highest strobe setting or the highest output setting. If I click the button on the back and turn it off, if I press that button down and hold it, I've got the strobe mode. Okay, this thing will strobe for a pretty long time and that's ridiculously powerful strobe. There is a strike bezel. Now we're not gonna be using the strike bezel here this evening, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the light down to about the third setting. I think this is a nice, comfortable output. I want to say this is probably about 1,100 lumens worth of output. And we're just going to go ahead and walk around and see what John has in store for us here. Okay. It's got a good throw on it. goes a long way. I, I don't even know what I'm looking for. So... Okay, that's just a, that's just a rock. Okay, I see something over here. What in the heck is this? <laughs> what? What is? What is this? Oh, there's a key attached to it. I kind of feel like this is going to be something from a saw film or whatever. Like I'm going to have to cut my bowels open and pull out a you know some type of a handcuff key or something, but. All right, we've got a key, so that means there's obviously some form of a uh, lock. Let's see if, th that's kind of creepy looking. I mean, we're out here in the middle of the night in Georgia, in the middle of nowhere, and this uh, critter's looking at me and the eyes are shining. So what John was attempting to demonstrate here was, you know, a creature's eyes glowing uh, in the dark, and I definitely picked up on that really quick. So, all right, we've got our key here. All right, we're gonna look around a little more. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, there's just some random and scrupulous lock hanging between some trees here. I'm pretty sure this is where we're gonna go. All right, got some lengths of chain here. All right, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be kind of sneaky. What I'm gonna do, this does have a pocket clip on it. I don't know how well you can see that uh, right there. I'm gonna try, yeah, get that light to kind of shine back in my hand. See the pocket clip? I'm gonna pull the pocket clip off and I'm going to turn it around, try to reverse it. And I'm going to try to clip this thing on my freaking hat. Let's see if this will work, maybe. I'll do it right here. Did I get that all the way on there? 
I did. All right, we'll see if this thing will. We'll see if this will clip on my hat. Oh, I must have pushed really hard. Or did I not put it in the right location? I just wasn't holding my mouth right. All right, now we're going to see. Now, I will say this. I've got this thing clipped on my hat. I wouldn't really say that it's this type of a light. It, it is a little bit heavy here on the bill of my hat, but in a pinch, in an emergency, yeah. Could I clip it on there and use it just to free my hands up? Yeah, I can. Absolutely. And that's what we're going to do. I just wasn't holding my mouth right putting it on the... Uh, I reversed the pocket clip there. So, all right, we're going to check here. Oh, hell. Really? This isn't the right key. Well, apparently I have left something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hook this right here, kind of like that. I'm gonna leave our stuffed animal. I'm gonna pull this off of my hat. I'm gonna go back down the trail and see if I freaking miss something. Let's see. John gave me a clue and said that I'm supposed to be looking for, apparently there's more animals that I didn't find. got here might find a rattlesnake in a minute let's see here the trail <laughs> it's dark as heck out here <laughs> uh, oh boy well I had to get a hint from John here I was wandering around aimlessly in the dark well, at least I got a flashlight. Oh, here we go. Okay, there's my other critter over there. See him? Look at that. We're, we're, <laughs> all right, here we are. Looks like we've got our other key. So let's make our way back over to the lock. I think we're going to be okay here. I know this might seem trivial to some of you guys, but we wanted to put together something like this because I thought it would be a cool idea. Because this is the kind of stuff you run into, you know, you end up having to do things hands free. I'm just going to clip this on my hat again. Oh, that's useful. All right, there's our key number two. Key number one. See, he put the little, the little glow, <laughs> glow things on there. All right, we're going to open this lock. So this is the kind of thing you might have to do is unlock something. Okay. All right. Okay, we've opened that up. I'm just going to leave that key in there so it doesn't get lost. We're going to grab our next key here and work our way. I'm going to take this off my hat. All right, we're going to look around a little more. Okay, that's our... Okay, that's nothing over there. That's just our extension cord for lighting over here. Ah, look at that. Got some reflector tape. Look at that. There's a lock box. Oh, and I hope Jake ain't over here. Okay, it feels heavy. All right, let's see what we got. Magazines. All right, let's get back over here and do some shooting. What do you think? Wow, this thing's heavy. Now, I know that might seem a little bit trivial to some people. We're just wandering around in the dark looking for things, but that's what we do, right? When you have an EDC flashlight, some folks live out in the sticks or some folks have situations where even if it's just a simple placing a key into a lock or getting your keys out and unlocking your door to your car or maybe the door to get into your house or whatever, um, that's what these types of lights are intended for but they can also be used in a variety of different tactical environments, tactical situations as well, okay? Um, I did swap the pocket clip around to accommodate it on my hat. Um, it is a rather heavy light, probably not quite so much intended for that purpose, but I adapted and I made it work. So I'm gonna pop this clip back off and just rotate it back around. Uh, that's probably not what that <laughs> was intended to do, but that's the way the pocket clip sits on it. Uh, I do like the switching on this light. It's very robust. Reminds me exactly of, you know, many of the other expensive lights that are out there on the market. Uh, so you've just got a magnetic charging cable that hooks up to this thing. And when it's charging, you'll have this little red LED that will light up. 
and when it's fully charged, it'll turn blue to let you know that it's uh, met a full charge. Uh, the runtime on this thing is ridiculous on the lower power settings. On the uh, 2550 lumen setting, uh, I want to say the runtime's about two hours. So a pretty robust light can definitely get you through uh, a whole evening or whatever, especially you know in a law enforcement scenario. Strike bezels have their use. We're not going to go over strike bezels, but I am going to shoot this uh, m and It is pretty late here. Now, this is a style of shooting that I don't really do very often, so I'm going to experiment and see if I can use this light. Now, obviously, I can light my target up really well. I mean, I'm only about 30 yards away, but this throw is just absolutely ridiculous, and it fills up a, a really wide area downrange here. So I'm just going to shoot the m and have a little bit of fun. Why don't we try maybe this style? I've seen people do this before. A lot of ammo here. <laughs> Just having some fun, guys. Trying to give you an idea of these lights, how they work and all. It's a lot harder to shoot with one, one hand and holding a light when it you know, comes to manipulating a weapon's light or in this case, just a tactical light. This isn't really intended to be a, a mountable weapons light in terms of the way we're running it right here. It definitely is a challenge, but a lot of output from this light. It's a lot harder than it looks. Slinging a lot of lead down range here. All right, try going real wide. I've seen a lot of people do this before with a light because the whole idea is by holding it out, let's just say if you're up against a assailant or whatever, or someone that also has a gun and is trying to shoot at you or whatever, the idea is that if they see a light, they're gonna shoot towards the light. They're gonna shoot at the light. It's just a natural type of thing, right? So by holding the light out further, the idea is that if they do try to engage a light that's looking at them, they're going to be shooting away from your body. That's the idea. At least that's what I've seen people do. I'm not suggesting that. That's not a, that's not a training suggestion. That is just simply an observation on my part. So I'm going to try holding the light nice and wide. Like, hey, look over here, right? <laughs> that is hard. You got, it's a weird position to shoot from, like getting way out like this. <laughs> all right guys i really appreciate you watching this video we hope you enjoyed it um this is not really something we do all the time these types of lights you know 
we typically mess with the weapons mountable lights, but I thought this would be something fun to do. So if you like this format, let me know and we'll kind of kick it up a notch and do some other crazy things. Uh, we'll make this obstacle course a little bit more difficult, add some other elements. Maybe we can uh, involve, uh, you know, hitting these things on some stuff and using them as tools uh, in different ways. So let me know how far down this rabbit hole you want me to go and we can certainly explore this idea and take it a step further. So let me know what you think about that. But this has been the PowerTac E9 uh, RG4. That is a mouthful, but really cool light, a ton of output, very, very useful and very affordable. Uh, we will be doing similar videos if you guys want us to on a bunch of other lights as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Many more videos on the way. All right.